Hello guys, today we are gonna sort out some problems with computer and uh, it can be standard problem, it can help if you got a blue screen or that on any computer but this is special case on HP uh, looks like incompatible update January 24 I think I run in similar problem in December not sure but let's have a look if we can fix it I'm not sure but in this case it's good to have system restore so basically after update you will run blue screen of death that was page in not paged area but it can be something kernel I don't know it can be different so after few attempts to update uh, it always failed like 98% and you get in recovery if you don't know how to get recovery search another video on YouTube you can do it with installation disk or you can you can just shut down computer when you see Windows logo and you should be able to get here but that's probably not a very clever option so coming here and I started as I said I, I saw this on another so so we're gonna do first uninstall updates which is not gonna help but I think it's not gonna help but let's see so uninstall latest quality updates if you're running into problems in installing the latest quality update and uninstalling might fix them this won't affect your personal file apps and set so this is what we want so let's see you have pending update action and we won't be able to install the latest quality update of Windows try running start repair instead so that one failed two times with blue screen of death so we gonna do we gonna try to uninstall future updates that's probably the same not one affect yeah that's the same we don't need a problem uninstall the Try to restarting your PC instead. Trouble should restart this PC. Problem won't be able to. Install. So thank you very much. Uh, Windows and Cooperation HP probably doing obsolete, obsol uh, planned obsolete. So we are gonna try to restore. Hoping we got some restore point. And if there is automatically restore point, yeah there is one so basically it looks like it did automatically that restore point windows models installer maybe it, it is maybe it is doing in case the update is not successful so I'm not sure which one we're gonna try we got two what is it 28 1932 hmm Okay, we're gonna try this one first. Oh no, older. We're gonna try older. So this is it, local system configure stone point. No, we're gonna try this one because I, I probably installed a lots of software, a few hundred, maybe 100 gigabytes. So we'll try this one first. And this is gonna take ages, so I don't wanna waste your time therefore i will just write in description if i succeeded and uh, probably i will do part two because I, i'm not after cutting and wasting really time i hope the video will help i try to do useful useful video but i'm not very successful on youtube so i'm not wasting much time to cut video and put them together or so so apologies for that maybe one day if I have more subscriber I will do that but not now so read description if you want to see if I managed to get back and save this and 
it was HP Pro 3500, but it can be similar on, I don't know, 3400 or on other HP. I haven't noticed this on Dells. I did a few Dells in the last two months and I didn't have any issue, but I think I had many issues on these HPs. And uh, I hope maybe it can be something. Uh, maybe if your graphics card is newer, this one is GTX 750, but still still supported this is the probably last one 700 series which is supported by nvidia unfortunately uh, all these 760 770 seems to be useless thanks to plant obsolete so if you buy that graphics car don't expect much because fortnite fortnite can crash regularly due to unsupported driver uh, I should do the video about it I'm not sure I didn't check if there is any video about it but that's another headache which wasted few days and I just repaired computer you know it's wasting my time and it can save you a lot of time guys so if you can subscribe it will be great because for me it was few days and you can save those those few days so thanks for watching and uh, as I said if you can subscribe and I hope it helps if you get something like this HP of course there are videos like this but not particularly on HP but if it is your HP you know it's HP so if you manage to get back I'm not sure maybe the windows will automatically disable those updates because they were not successful. I'm not sure what to do there or you have to you have to just block that update somehow. Up to you guys. There is a lots of video. This one is just telling you that problem with HP is basically not your motherboard because I got this from somebody. I replaced the motherboard and the fault was the same. I knew the memory sticks and processors everything was tested in other computer in Dell and it was fine so it's not faulty motherboard it's basically planned obsolete it's cooperation of HP and Windows in Microsoft so unfortunately good hardware that's what it is thanks for watching guys